The hunger is an exotic sword in Dauntless that brings the power of the dark side to the player. Look at how I am regenerating my health from being almost dead up to a very very safe and nice spot by using the Q ability on this crazy power weapon. The hunger, like I said, an exotic weapon. I got my exotic schematic when I took down Shroud the first time. And in order to create and upgrade this weapon, you need elemental things, you need things from ganking down Shroud a lot of times. It is going to be a massive grind for a lot of players to level up the hunger. But unlike the God Hand that I looked into in a previous video, this exotic weapon is its a power weapon for solo players in that it allows you to casually grind things without using bugs and exploits in, in a very, very, very enjoyable way. It is of course an umbral weapon, meaning that it deals more damage to radiant behemoths and normal good damage to everything besides umbral behemoth. So it is bad against the Rift Stalker, it is bad against Shroud, but besides that it deals very, very nice damage. The unique effect is that you can activate it with your Q ability once the meter has powered up in order to enter a feast state where you constantly take damage but where your attack is boosted greatly and where you gain life leech on the weapon which means that even though you are taking damage if you have the power to boost through you will be gaining more like more health than you are losing to the hunger feast making it one of those win more kind of weapons making it super 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 ideal for casual grinding if you need if you need things from like heroic and below and you just want to be casually grinding it the hunger is it is a good friend to have there because if you combine the unique effect of the hunger with other abilities and cells you can get some really really crazy builds up and running that allow you to very casually grind most behemoths in the game of course if you're going up against fire you want to be fireproof and so forth but in terms of just damage a build such as what i have here with the conduit with the conning with the vampiric i mean you can attack fast you can do crazy double damage you can life leech and if you have a thing such as koshai's bloom you can use the instant there to also heal up, giving you a lot of life leech options on your build with a weapon that has absolutely amazing damage potential because as you're going to be seeing right around the corner, once you enter the feast mode, you send out waves of umbral darkness energy that deal damage, meaning that you don't even, you don't actually need to be super close to the behemoth in order to damage it. Of course it's a melee weapon and all the staggering stuff means that like you want to be close but the ideal opponent for the hunger is of course the already very very easy behemoth the valamir it is very tank and spank it doesn't move around a lot it has some close area damage in the orbs but it has like specials that are very very easy to predict and to move away from the rays that shoot out of it and it is just staying it is just standing there taking like this was one of the attacks i was talking about but what i want to show you guys now is that i'm taking damage because we want to look at the life leech so i'm going into super saiyan mode here and just look at how crazy this valamir is taking a beating in this darkness mode of pure power it is it is really really enjoyable to play with i have been playing with it in solo missions to great success i've been playing with it in group missions where it also works like a charm i'm not taking it into group missions unless i'm up against resakiri or the heroic valamir because i just really <laughs> like going in with weapons with an opposing element but guys the hunger is it is it one of the exotic schematics in the game that is worth putting effort into abso freaking lootly for multiple reasons the weapon it is amazing I, I absolutely love this weapon it is fun it looks great and obviously once you have it you can use a transmog stone to make your other things look like it so that is kind of cool as well i feel so anyway 
the hunger is only the second like super exotic that I'm looking into in the game. The God Hand was the thing I was the most hyped about. It was a great disappointment if you don't want to be bugging glitching it. The hunger on the other hand was something I wasn't hyped about because it's a sword. But given that you can use the Q ability to speed jump into things, deal crazy area damage, heal up, stagger things, cut any part, any limb from a behemoth, it is, it is, yeah. If you guys get the schematic, it is definitely worth looking more into. So anyway, guys, that was what I had to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed about the hunger in Dauntless. A huge thanks to everyone out there using my supporter creator code, Loka Hansen, in the Dauntless store and in the Epic Games store. Be sure to put it down there in the comments. What do you have build-wise for the hunger? What videos would you like to see in the future? For now, guys, thank you very much and very much for watching.